So even though, right, everyone in my comments says, don't buy the old coins, don't buy the dino coins. How's that going for you? They always return. And there's some very obvious signs and retail elements that we're going to go through in this video. Um, buy the dip potentially here. Hello, everyone. Hope you well. If you're new, like the video, subscribe, and I want a comment. Are you holding any of the old school coins? The likes of Cardano, Litecoin, maybe even Polkadot, AVAX. Something that's been around for a little bit longer than you think. Or the OG XRP. Ooh. Anyways, on the screen, very obvious here. And I know it sounds a bit... But the amount of wallets with one BTC or more has actually ticked down a little bit. You can see that here, right? Now, this is nothing scary, let's be honest here. But it kind of gives you a bit of an element that, well, maybe a little bit of rotation from Bitcoin into altcoins is slowly kind of coming. Now, as I say, it's kind of obvious. But in terms of history, we know overall that Q4 is often quite good for Bitcoin. But also in a bull market, it's also really good for altcoins, which we can see on the right hand side with Ethereum. Now, that is where I think personal opinion and I've talked about this quite a lot, Ethereum is a catalyst for that, and Ethereum and like Solana haven't really went off yet. What has happened is a lot of the other unfinished coins that have just kind of sat there doing nothing hasn't really had any sort of sunlight yet, and now they are. That liquidity has gone into it, and they've kind of shocked people who are probably max short it, and then off it goes, right? That's kind of the top and bottom of it. Let's get into it in more detail. Just a quick one before we go. Patreon is still 50% off your first month until the 13th of December. It's not like Black Friday. I don't think I'm going to do any Black Friday stuff. But ultimately, first month you can get for absolutely pittance, really, let's be honest. So let's talk about social media. Right. My personal belief and the first and most obvious thing would be to say that existing retail have returned. And I know that people are doing this because my YouTube channel views have gone up. My comments have increased. My subscribers are going up. Same on X, growing, all that kind of stuff, right? And this data also proves it. So what does this mean? People that have had on their phones, existing apps have had a little notification going, oh, by the way, the coin that you invested in maybe three years ago is popping off. They're going to return to those coins. That's my opinion. So the likes of Polkadot, for example, has done really well. AVAX has done really well. Cardano has done really well. XRP has done fantastic, right? That's just three off the top of my head. Far off somewhere, essentially, right? And what they've done is they've gone to what they know. Simple as that. So you can see here, weekly followers of data and research accounts. That, over the last couple of weeks and months, before all this took off, has been increasing, which is really interesting, right? But let's go a little bit deep here. The influencer videos on even just a couple of select accounts has really took off recently tweet volume has increased obviously again weekly subscribers has increased and i can say that on my own channel right so people have returned and let me know as i say in the comments if you have if you have returned and i've i've, I've had like emails and random stuff from people who are like on learning crypto which by the way has a black friday deal on right now link below they've been saying right i'm back and people have like spoken up in the discord and i am back i'm back Guys, like, don't do it. Like, the magic trick is not to disappear for fucking months on end and return when everything's going mental. You need to literally be in the market, buy the lows, and then be rewarded. A lot of people who've been doing that have been rewarded, right, realistically. So, yeah, it's kind of really interesting to note that people do vanish. And I always say that. It, it blows my brains. Now, the second and most obvious one as well is Bitcoin is starting to slowly range, right? If I go to the one hour time frame, it's kind of, yeah, it's not volatile. It's chilling out a little bit, right? Nothing crazy. It has had a bit of volatility, and especially today, it's been coming down a bit. We are going to correct, right? Um, the reality is here, this is kind of the target. So we're going for roughly 100K, we missed out, but we are going to pull back at some point. Obviously, this is a massive from... 67,000 to almost 100k boys and girls like we missed it by what 430 odd dollars right crazy moves right obviously if this is going to slow down a little bit it's going to allow altcoins to breathe and 
I spoke about in my altcoin capitulation video that you've got to be careful because if Bitcoin is violent and it goes up and down pretty aggressively, you're going to get hurt. It has gone up. It's gone pretty slow down. But even if it's a slow bleed going down, it will kind of hit some altcoins. Now, I've often said, and I know people disagree with me, and I don't think anything, everything's going to go up. Not Like certain altcoin pairs in the BTC pair are going to get pretty lackluster returns, in my opinion, right? USD prices, if say Bitcoin flies up to the moon, it's going to reflect that. The reality is, right, when I look at the chart, I look at $95,000, right? And I'm still not that impressed by some of the altcoin prices in terms of, well, as much as like some of them have really popped off, some of them are like not, right? Look, for comparison, right? Let's look at Cardano. Cardano in the BTC pair has done an absolute mega move. But if we compare Chainlink, it has not. If we're going to look at AVAX, also has not. If we look at BNB, really has not. That's a, that's an indication to say that sometimes retail may not be here. It's actually hit the level I was interested in, right? Polkadot has done a little bit of a move and caught a lot of people out. But realistically, what if it goes back and retests this level? What will happen there? By the way, just put, put that point out there. I could add more dot from when I was selling, which is mad. What do you think about it? I'm not going to say anything else. Ethereum has been lackluster right? Not really popped off. But ultimately, as I say, when Ethereum goes, you're probably going to see the whole tide of the market go. Because again, if we compare Ethereum and Solana, Solana also hasn't had that rocket boom. So when you're comparing the likes of why certain things have done mental, Cardano, for example, as I say, XRP has had a real big move, right? Stuff like that, hugely important. But it's a sign of the times where people are returning to the obvious, but Look at what pumped. Three what I mentioned, right, in my honest opinion, have been absolutely battered, right? Let's look at the facts here. Let's look at the obvious. From the cycle high, which is all the way up here for Cardano, to the point where it bounced, it was down 92%. That's Cardano. Polkadot, again, you can see it. From well, Let's just say even from the market top, all the way down to the bottom, 94%. Even though this one was obviously a little bit higher. When we look at the likes of XRP, with all the court cases, with the fact of Gary Gensler getting uh, sacked and all that kind of good stuff, like, you know, look at where th this is unbelievable. Like, this is 2018, 2017 vibes, right? So they have been really suppressed and really obviously hurt. And then when we compare this to the likes of Bitcoin dominance, well, we're starting to slowly come down. Nothing crazy, nothing, nothing crazy, but. You feel it. If you were in those coins, a move from 61.5 down to where we are right now, 58.9, that is not a massive move, right? That is a 2.69% move. We are looking for this to really go sub 50, sub 45, sub 40 potentially for a monster run in altcoins. <laughs> yeah, get ready for it because some of these coins will run. And obviously, yes, a lot of people disagree with me. Oh, but no, these coins are not going to run. No one's interested in the old coins. Trust me, they are. Because they're the most marketable. They've got the most users. They've got existing people that have been burned and they'll try the old casino again, right? Or people will come back because they've made money. Because obviously, I invested in the Cardano ICO pretty much, like literally a week after it on release, made a lot of money. Second cycle, made a lot. Of this cycle, I didn't bother with it. But, you know, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. People will be doing that. Polkadot will be the same. Probably do all right. Yeah, XRP. Previous cycle, not as good because of the SEC. But now if the shackles are off, oh, they've got the user base. They've got the community. They've got the hive. They've got the the, the exchanges are going to be able to market that much easier because it's obvious it's a retail existing kind of coin. You've got to look at the obvious here. So in terms of why the pumping, that's kind of obvious. If you want a little bit of a tip, by the way, for each individual asset, it has a thing called .d. So this is Cardano. Dot, 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 dot D, sorry, is dominant. Straightforward. The higher this is, the better it is. So obviously, if we're going to go up to 3% dominance, you probably find that Cardano's done pretty damn well. So obviously, yes, all the way down at 0 0.51, and it bounced. I'm pretty sure I did a video of all coin capitulations around the 5th of November. I actually talked quite a lot about um, all coin positions. I think I posted it on my X. But yeah, that's the top and bottom of it. And I can't really... We can't really go anything further away from that. So what we need realistically now 
and this is kind of the obvious plan is Bitcoin has to relax, has to chill. Now, this is a three day time frame. OK, kind of obvious. I know if it slowly goes down a little bit, I've not put some. This is all, all technical analysis. I've not done any up to date stuff yet. But if this slowly kind of dribbles down a little bit, say to 93,000 and it just chills out, relaxes, <laughs> does nothing for a little bit. All coins will push higher unbelievably easily, very quickly because the liquidity will come back. The liquidity of the driving force of a liquid market, which has been battered by 94, 92, 91% over the course of the last three years on that BTC pair, they will start to trigger a lot of algorithms and they will get people excited. Then people will form in and money comes in. And that's what's happened. This is why some things have gone crazy. Let's look at some other things out of left field, right? Final things to talk about. KSM. Random, I know. But look at that for a move. Why is that move like that? That has moved like that because of the same thing, illiquid markets, where this has probably got not much volume, and then it's got a lot of volume, which went boom. And I know some people are like, well, that's not that crazy, let's be honest. A three-day three candle, bottom to top, 130%. I know it's pulled back half of that, crazy. What about the likes of, I don't know, is it XLM, Stellar Lumin? Uh, fucking hell. See what I mean? So these dino coins that people are like writing off and oh no, that you don't want to invest in them. This is what happens with crypto. And this is why I bet on certain things that are quite obvious half the time. This is why a lot of my assets this, this time around has done pretty well and actually held a bit of value. But ultimately, the, some of them have actually popped off pretty well. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, sweet. Even ICP, right? ICP. It doesn't look great at the minute, but look at what it did at the start of the year. The start of the year, it had a real big push, big push. It probably will do the exact same thing at some point. When the volume comes into it, it will probably do the exact same thing because it was suppressed so much and pop. The exact same situation, it'll probably pop. It probably will. Ethereum will probably do the exact same thing. Dogecoin has already done it. So yeah, guys, girls. Don't write off these old boy coins because they will get interest. People will flood it. And that flood will be too much to handle. And then off it will go. Anyways, enjoy. As I say, learning crypto up to 70% off. Last ever discount. That is it. No more big boy discounts ever. I know. Sounds crazy. And again, keep an eye on my ex. I will be doing giveaways. I'm doing a giveaway currently for trading view right now. There'll be some other giveaways for learning crypto as well, as well as potentially in December for Patreon gifted memberships. Enjoy.